Hi, everybody. Okay, uh, just quick here before I start, uh, thank you for sharing this journey with me. And uh, I want you to know that this is a journey about connections of love. And uh, with this journey, we learn that love is endless and bountiless. So, real quick here, I hear things very fast, and I speak a little faster. Uh, I tend to get names. If I get names, please don't just listen to names that have passed over, because they often identify by living names as well. Uh, and if you think it's for you, please raise your hand, because I'll know if it is for you or not. Because I can be over here, and they'll pull me over here, and I can be in two sections all at the same time. So you'll know if it's for you by the way that the information comes through. Okay, we got that. Um, are you guys connected? Yes? Are we like family? <laughs> we're partners. Oh, that's family. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't absolutely. care how you got there, but you're together. Okay. We're very connected. Uh, okay. Now, are, are you connected with them too, or are you just on your own? I'm on my own. Okay. Well, you're never on your own, but that's okay. Not in my room anyway. Um, I, I have to ask you, is, is either one of your mothers passed? No. No. Okay. There's a woman that's coming through very strongly connected to both of you. And I don't know why here, but I'm getting the sense she's coming with her mother. Did somebody lose like a same level person, like a sister, sister-in-law, or an aunt? And I feel like I'm on mother's side. No. Do you know who I might be speaking about? No. Okay. This woman comes through very strong, like she's connected to the family. But I feel like I'm on the mother's side. My mother's mother is passed. Is, is passed. Okay. Yeah. Where am I hearing three females in a family? My I'm, mother has three sisters she does. alive. Okay, that's all. But the grandmother's passed? Yes, then my grandmother has passed. Okay, then that's yeah. how you... Because she's identifying by the three sisters. Now, is one more distant than the other two? In terms of... Physicality, emotionally, whatever? No, they spend a lot of time together. Okay, they live near each other? Relatively. Okay, were they distant from where grandma was? No. Okay, there's reason I'm feeling somebody somebody elsewhere. They're being very strong about this. Now, who's connected to you in the family, the female with a D name? <laughs> it's a little different than what you're describing, and it's, it's very personal. My sister-in-law's name is Doreen. And Doreen, she, thank you. Yes, and there is there's an, an incredible rift in the family that's of quite a personal nature. Thank you. The dead people know this, and obviously your grandmother knows this. Now, your grandmother was very connected with the mom and the sisters. We, we were all very, very close. Very, very, very close. Yeah. Rifts yeah. don't happen in this line. No, we're very this, surprised. It yes, this happened. is a big deal thing. It so is a big she's deal. watching over this. And you see, sister, sister-in-law, same level people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. this sister-in-law is obviously here. She's alive, yeah. I mean here, I mean alive. Is yes. her mom here? Yes. Okay, because there's a woman also on her side that's coming through here. Now, I see the division very clear. Hmm. I see the division very clear. And now, i got to ask you this. Your, your mom and your family lived around here. Somebody must have had mountains in the back, because they're showing me mountains in the back being a really, really big deal. So I'm assuming that the grandmother had something to do with that from what she's showing me. She's showing me literally mountains in the back living up high. Now, she's telling me that about this rift that's been going on for a while. There's a male connected to it that's got something to do with the rift. Uh, it could be my brother. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so he's here also. Oh, he's married his, to my sister his, Oh, it's his wife. Yes. Got it. That's the deal. Thank you. Yeah. Because Grandma's not happy about this. No, none of us are happy about okay. it. Okay. But so. she's telling me, <laughs> now, are you, like, in the middle somewhere? I can tell you exactly what's going on. I don't know what, al what I'm allowed to say. It's, okay, it has well, you to do know what? with religion. You don't have to tell them anything, but okay. they're telling me you're very much in the middle, which means you're very central to the whole deal. Well, I, I am perhaps uh, the cause of the problem. My lifestyle is not acceptable to someone of her religion. Got it. Without... We don't need to say any more. I okay. guess not, do we? <laughs> As I started the show, it's all about love. Okay, dead people don't care who you're sleeping with, to be quite honest with you. Well, so, I wish my sister-in-law was here to uh, hear you say that. Well, she'll that, just have to watch okay. this, won't she? Now, No, um, she will never watch this, but well, anyway. you never say never, darling. <laughs> I've done this work for too long. You never say to the people, you know, they, you think people are closeted? Believe me when I tell you. Churchgoers love mediums. Don't, don't, don't kid yourself. So I'm saying to you that your grandmother's saying you may be the center of this. Mm -hmm. Now this makes an awful lot of sense because she's telling me you stay in your center to be who you are. Because you were raised to be who you are. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is, good, bad, and different. All right? Mm -hmm. And that's where you're to stay in your center. And this is her way of validating that to you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You can thank her. Now, she didn't know her? 
No, but she would really like But Christina. she liked her, right, exactly. <laughs> she said, I would really like her. She's a classy one, Grandma says. Yes, Christine is. Yes, and she keeps you together. Well, love keeps us together, but I know Graham is very present in my life. So, so. you're fine. Yes. Now, I think I'm still with you unless I'm pulled over here. Where am I hearing a name like Betty or Elizabeth, please? My godmother's name is Betty. Is she also passed? No, she has very serious Alzheimer's, okay. though. Okay, then you see Grandma's coming through and keeping an eye on her, too. That's and wonderful. that's her way of letting me know that she's coming in. Hmm. Isn't that pretty cool? That's very cool. That's very cool. Suzanne, is there? Any, I know you talk a lot about this in your books and your seminars. Is there? Is there anything that you you want to tell us now, or or, or need to tell us at this point? Well, again, I, I said it's really all about learning to listen and, and and keeping our minds and hearts open because they do connect you. As a matter of fact, it's part of their job. And because of this, you no longer need to feel helpless when somebody you love dies and that you can resolve those issues <laughs> around his or her departure and accept the gifts of the knowledge that they can bring you in healing with your own soul's path. And that's really kind of what, what happened here. Uh, so always keep in mind that the word courage lies in the base of the heart and that know that nothing can ever separate you from love, not even death.